Hi viewers, this is Dr. R. Bhatmapriya from St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Kadalur, working as an assistant professor in PG and Research Department of Mathematics. Today we are going to discuss about the topic Business Mathematics. Business Mathematics, we are going to discuss about the matrix multiplication. Let us see how to multiply two matrices. Here is an example. 2 cross 3 matrix can be multiplied by a 3 cross 3 matrix because there are 3 columns in the first matrix and 3 rows in the second matrix. The main condition for the matrix multiplication is the column of the first matrix should be equal to the row of the second matrix. If it is true only, we can able to multiply the Two matrices. Here is a counter example. On the other hand, a 5 cross 2 matrix cannot be multiplied by another 5 cross 2 matrix, even though they both have the same dimension, that is the same order. Here is a visual representation. If two matrices can be multiplied, what would the new dimension be? It would be the number of row of the first matrix and the number of column of the second matrix. So, for the example above, that would work. The dimension would be a 2 cross 3 matrix. It actually do the multiplying in the next few steps. You see, this matrix is a 5 cross 2 matrix. We cannot able to multiply this two matrix even though it its order is same we cannot able to multiply because the column of the first matrix is 2 and the row of the second matrix is 5 so we are not able to multiply this two matrix now let us see how to multiply the first row first column here we are taking the first row first column elements you would take the first row of the first matrix and then multiply it by the first column of the second matrix. You do it by multiplying the first entry in that row by the first entry in the column. Second entry in the row by second in column etc. until you finish. Your sums place in the new matrix is the row number and column number of the row and column that you multiplied. Let's continue our example. You see 5, 2 into 1, 2. 4 into 4, 16. 6 into 7, 42. When we will be adding this 3 values, 2 plus 16 plus 42, the answer will be 16. So place that 16 in the first row, first column. Let us continue our example. Now, let us see how to multiply the remaining terms. The next step would be to multiply the first row by the second column and in the new matrix. That would be in row 1, column 2. Then, you would multiply the first row by the third column. That sum would be in row 1, column 3. Then you repeat the above with row 2 of matrix 1 to fill the second row of our final matrix. Here is the finished product. Now let us see one by one how to multiply this matrix. Let us take the first row first row column elements 2 into 1 2 4 into 4 16 6, 7 are 42. So, uh, when we add this 3 values, we will be getting 60 as the answer. Next, first row, second column. 2 into 2 plus 4 into 5 plus 6 into 8. When we will be adding this 3 values, we will be getting the answer as 72. Next, first row, third column. 2 into 3 plus 4 into 6 plus 6 into 9. 
when we when we'll be adding this three products we'll be getting the answer as 84 the next one is the second row first column elements 3 into 1 5 into 4 7 into 7 and we'll be adding we are getting the answer as 72 now multiply the second row second column 3 into 2 5 into 5 7 into 8 and when we'll be adding this we are getting the answer as 87 the next one is the second row third column 3 into 3 5 into 6 plus 7 into 9 when we'll be adding this we are getting the answer as 102 so in this way we have to multiply the two matrices thank you for watching